Lanes have reopened tonight on westbound Interstate 80 near the Donner Lake Exchange in Truckee after a CHP officer was hit by an SUV. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Sharon Roger. That officer was outside his car when he was struck. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins joining us live with more on his condition tonight. Macy. Well, sure, and it happened just feet from where I'm standing on I-80 westbound. Now, what happens is oftentimes CHP officers say they're responding to one incident and then secondary accidents happen. And that's what happened in this case. Comes to a halt on 80 westbound as CHP tries to clean up an accident. It happened around 2.30 p.m. on the Castle Peak exit ramp. A CHP officer was out of his vehicle just wrapping up after responding to an earlier collision. Most other officers had already cleared that accident. He was there just providing traffic control as we were waiting for a tow truck. CHP says that's when a Nissan Pathfinder tried to change lanes and struck the officer, sending him flying several feet, landing face down in the median. The driver has been identified as Ivy Soon Young Vilnau. For reasons unknown, she moved out into the number one lane to kind of avoid that slowing traffic and at that time uh, made contact with the officer. According to the collision report, Vilnau lost control of her vehicle. Cal Fire rushed to transport the officer to a hospital, but weather made it impossible to fly. Instead, a harrowing journey by ambulance to renowned regional medical center in Reno. We know he is stable, but uh, it is a very serious situation and, and he's suffering from major injuries. Officer Pete Mann says as the snowfall continues, he fears he hasn't seen the last accident for the evening. Well, we've been seeing the, the hardest snowfall come during the nighttime hours, and we're expecting the hardest snow for this yet to come. And that snow is continuing to come down. In the last update that we got about that officer, a few hours ago, he was still in surgery. We're not sure of his condition, but we'll continue to keep you updated. As far as I-80, we have seen signs that say 30 miles per hour is as fast as you should go, and that is because it is very white out here, and because it's dark, you can't really see where you're going. Certainly dangerous conditions out there. Macy Jenkins, thank you. Hopefully that officer will pull through.